Can I just say that this is a weird ass thing to name this episode? This indirect kiss is only in the last like minute of the episode and it doesn't exactly do a very good job describing what this episode is really about. I think they should have gone with something like Rose's Fountain, which not only fits the focus of the episode more while still leaving an air of mystery, but it combined with Rose's Room and Rose's Scabbard would make some sort of trilogy that shows off some of the more mysterious parts of Rose's character. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah... Okay. Not okay. Does this face look even remotely okay to you? It's a long story. Is it a magic story? It's a fucking fence. There is not a lighthouse to be seen on this cliff for this entire sequence when there's supposed to be one here. Steven! Was that ass shake really necessary? This is so embarrassing. You could have at least flipped and landed on your feet to save yourself a little embarrassment. Show me your gem. Fesh. That is technically sexual harassment, which further makes me question why they decided to put Amethyst Gem there of all places. The star on Steven's shirt disappears in this shot. Steven! Yeah, just get pissed at Steven for not wanting to tell a story that clearly makes him uncomfortable. Because that's appropriate. Only if you give me the rest of your juice. Okay, but it's mostly backwash. Good enough. I fail to see why Connie would want to even consider drinking Steven's backwash, but whatever you're into, I guess. Amethyst! Amethyst. Also, the stars on Amethyst's pants disappear in this shot. Show me your gem! Yeah, all right. Amethyst is okay with showing her gem to Steven, but not to Pearl. I don't think I like the implications of that. I guess I'm just too tough to cry. Just today, you were crying about snakes. They don't have any arms. Hey guys, what are you doing on the beach? Don't you guys live close to the beach? That shouldn't exactly be an unusual thing, especially since you're there too. Where is pain? Seriously? You're in that young She did not walk into it that hard. I needed that. Amethyst's head is where her left foot should be in this shot, when it was where her right foot should be in the previous shot. Is that? Mom? You see her picture almost every day in the temple. Why do you even have to ask? Headache! So give back my glasses and finish the story! Entirely out of character for Connie to be impatient and not worried at all about Steven here. No roses in the statue's hair. Then there are roses. Then there aren't. I don't know how to feel about you, but everybody else does. I wish I could have met you. Then this place could make me sad, and I could cry healing tears, like you. This music, combined with the writing, makes this scene honestly really emotional, even if it's just a small moment compared to the rest of the episode. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, ah, ah. 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 And as quick as they wrote it, they ruined it. Thanks, Crooniverse. Ah. It's a wonder that didn't affect her gem as much as walking slowly into a fucking wall did. These plants look more like they're performing some dancing ritual more than they're trying to kill Steven. Also, why are they even trying to kill Steven anyway? If these are just regular brambles that somehow came to life via magic, what could have done that other than Rose? And if Rose did bring them to life, then you'd think someone bearing her gem wouldn't be attacked, so maybe they're just going after Amethyst? But then why do they try to attack just Steven here? Nothing about this makes any sense, and the show never explains this. The star on Garnet's chest is dark red instead of light pink in this shot. Amethyst disappears entirely here. The star on Garnet's gauntlet is drawn somewhat outside of her gauntlet in this shot. What does this episode have against stars? Lion disappears in this shot, this shot, especially this shot, this shot, and this shot. If I don't have powers, then I can't hang out with Amethyst, or Garnet, or Pearl, and I, I can't go on missions. You don't need any powers to be here with me. I know that was probably intended to be really sweet and reassuring, but I don't know. That just comes off as a little bit selfish to me. That is the most bored sounding ow of all time. I don't have healing tears, I have healing spit! Okay, several problems here. Firstly, how the fuck did Rose's healing capability somehow move to Steven's fucking spit? Let's just put aside any magical bullshit for a second here, because I assume this could maybe be some genetic thing. But then later in the series, after Steven has matured a bit, he does in fact have the power to resurrect people with them. So did Rose have healing powers in her spit as well and just didn't need to use them in that way? And even then, if Steven can at least use his spit to heal people, what reason would there be for his 
his eyes not to work yet? Does his power have levels or something? And even then, in Steven Universe Future, where his powers are fully developed, he still insists on using his spit instead of, like, bottled tears or the fountain or something. So how does this power work? Secondly, there is absolutely no way that Steven's healing spit should even be active right now. If you guys remember, in House Guest, Steven's healing spit is turned off when he loses confidence in his abilities. At this moment, Steven is quite possibly at the lowest point we've seen him so far, thinking that he doesn't have healing powers at all and that he serves no purpose in the Crystal Gems. So then why does his healing spit work? It shouldn't. So either A, Steven somehow has the tiniest bit of hope left in him that he does have those powers, which would invalidate him losing them in House Guest, or B, the Crooniverse wrote this whole losing his powers thing as a gimmick from House Guest onwards to artificially create tension where there shouldn't be, and to unfairly strip him of this power until season fucking three, in which there are many scenarios where it would have proved to be useful. Man, these healing powers just seem like a huge fucking mess. Amethyst! Sh